Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified 6-inch scale Target Exclusive Tiger Force David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen. I pre-ordered this guy at the Target website. He shipped, arrived a little bit early, so let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see at the top, age is 4+, plus, a little warning. Tiger Force, this is the newest Target exclusive G.I. Joe wave. G.I. Joe Classified, David L. Bazooka by Hasbro. Here he is in the package. Looks like he comes with, you guessed it, a bazooka. One side, got some Joe Insignia, figure number 54 in the G.I. Joe Classified line. Other side, not too much going on. Here's Bazooka. The back side, here's the Tiger Force, the jungle. Bottom got a bunch of credits, and there is a barcode in case that helps anybody. So, with no further ado, let's open him up. All right, now that this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He comes with bazooka rocket launcher, four rockets, a backpack, and a helmet. But before I take a look at those, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So, this is David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen. He's part of the Tiger Force Wave, target exclusive figure, and he's on the Joe side of things. So let's take a look. So this face here, this all American face, strong mustache, hair parted to the side. He's in kind of a jersey looking thing. Number 14. A little stripe on the side, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, got kind of the tiger stripe pants, Tiger Force. Overall, not a bad looking figure. You can see where the backpack will connect. Good addition to the Joe side of things. And just a closer look at his face and head sculpt. Now check out his accessories. And let's start off with the backpack. Here's his backpack. In that sort of military green. You can see the front here. It's got a little flap little pouch peg that'll attach into the peg hole on his back and it actually has room to stow each four of his extra rockets here's bazooka with his backpack on can't tell too much from the front but flip him around here's bazooka stowing away the rockets onto his backpack not for his helmet it's simply a red helmet not too much more to say than that red helmet sort of brown stripe around it couple straps. Here's Bazooka, no helmet on, then with his helmet attached. Now for his Bazooka and Rockets. Rockets are fairly basic, got four of them, identical. They're purely done in that military green. Seems like they could have used a better color choice. Then we have the actual Bazooka or Rocket Launcher. Here's the handle, it's got a strap here. Another area you can hold. It's got the front. The back actually sort of comes apart. I guess you're supposed to be able to sort of load a rocket into the back there. Definitely a cool accessory. Here's Bazooka carrying around his rocket launcher, then getting ready to aim and fire it. You can hold it with either one hand with two. You can also put this rocket all the way inside. Pretty cool. And I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but you can plug in another rocket to the back. I guess that's when he's reloading it. And if you fully take off the back piece, you can actually load a whole rocket inside of there. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, he's standing at about 6.4 inches tall, which could translate to about 16 centimeters. Now for his articulation. I'll start with his head here, of course, it can rotate from side to side. You look up about that far, down about that far. You can tilt his head just a tiny bit from side to side. His articulation at the top of the neck and the bottom of the neck. Shoulders on a ball joint goes out about 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got a butterfly joint between his shoulder and chest area. 
increasing the range of motion, bicep cut below that, double jointed elbows, they go in that far, his wrists can rotate and it's going to be hinged as well. He's got a ball joint in his torso, rotate around, forward and back, unlike the ab crunch they often have. Another ball joint his waist, rotate around, forward and back, giving him pretty good range of motion in his torso area. Legs, complete us splits, ball joints. He's got the drop down hips, they look bad like this. Push him right back in. Forward, that far, back, not much. He's got thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot cut, ankles, they go back, forward, mine's a little bit stuck. There it goes, tilt rock and the rotation is up here. Here's Bazooka aiming and getting ready to fire his rocket launcher off of a military watchtower. Now let's check him out. Next is some other action figures. Starting off with some other Hasbro G.I. Joe classified figures. Here he is, next to both Outback and Duke from the Tiger Force Wave. Add in a couple of Cobra figures from Tiger Force. And this is the entire Tiger Force Wave so far. I believe there's still one more Joe and one more Cobra to come out. They should be shipping soon. Here's Bazooka, next to some recently released Hasbro G.I. Joe classified figures on the Joe side of things. Then, next to some more recently released Joe figures. And then, here he is, with some of the earlier Joe releases. And here he is, next to some recently released G.I. Joe figures on the Cobra side of things. Here are all of my Hasbro G.I. Joe classified figures on the Joe side of things. I believe I have every single figure, every single variation they've released so far. Just the one of the Target exclusive figure that's delayed right now. And here's my entire Cobra side of the G.I. Joe collection. I believe I have every single one of the figures and variations except for the light blue Cobra Commander, the original Target exclusive Viper, and Serpentor. Although I do have a pre-order for him, so he's on lockdown. Now let's check him out. Next to some other action figures that'll fit in pretty good with your G.I. Joe classified figures, both scale and style-wise on the Joe side of things. Here he is, with some Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. We've got Eric Killmonger, Captain America, and Peggy Carter. Then, next to a Hasbro Fortnite figure, this is Metalhead. And here, with some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures, Havoc, and a couple versions of Jonesy. Here's Bazooka, next to a Mattel DC Multiverse Rick Flag figure from Suicide Squad. I got ten of these figures and did some head swaps. They make for some nice generic troops and would make for some excellent generic background shows. Now let's check them out. Next to some action figures from different various companies to see how he fits in both scale and style wise. In case you don't know which lines you can mix them with. Since he's a Hasbro G.I. Joe figure, they're typically the 6 inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the smaller action figure lines I collect and work way larger. But first, let's check him out with some of his Hasbro brothers. Here he is, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends. Then, next to some more Hasbro figures. These are some Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale figures. And now, next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. Then, here he is, next to a thing of packing tape. And here he is, next to some SH figure arts action figures. Here's Bazooka, standing with some Mayfix figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here he is. Next to some Mezco 112 Collected figures. And now, with some Jazzwares AEW Wrestling figures. Then, with some Mattel WWE Wrestlers. And here he is, with some NECA figures. Then, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And here he is, with some McFarlane toys. And here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. And finally, next to some Jack specific wrestling figures. Overall, He's a pretty nice figure. The jersey looks good. Of course, he's got the tiger stripe pants for the Tiger Force. Helmet's cool. Rocket launcher is awesome. The removal rockets. They can wear his backpack in the front of the rocket launcher, the back of the rocket launcher. It's all very well done, although could use a little more paint variety. His articulation is everything you'd expect from a Hasbro G.I. Joe figure. The sculpt and paint job are excellent. No issues there. If I to rate this guy, Probably going to give him a 7 out of 10. His outfit, 
Just doesn't really scream G.I. Joe too much, but he's one of those more unique characters. A little bit less militaristic, a little bit more casual. Very happy to add him to my Joe roster. So this is D. Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say with the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D. Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.